But God took our place there. Kinuha niya tayo doon siya na nagpapako. Sa ano sinabi ko, birthday ni Floyd, no Tuesday, Floyd, the name Floyd is Precious Jewel in Thai word. Kami kayo makikilalang Floyd, alam niyo na bini, Precious Jewel. Okay? Birthday. Birthday ni Floyd, binigyan namin ng regalo. Sa palagay niyo, yung birthday gift na binigay namin, babawiin ko? Babawiin namin ni Mrs.? Babawiin namin? Hindi. Bakit? Binigay namin yun ng free. Pag binawi namin yun, that is not a gift. May bayad yan. God demonstrates His love toward us by freely giving His life toward us. In John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. At sinabi niya doon, that whosoever believe it on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. Whosoever believe it on Him. You want eternal life? This is it right now. If you want eternal life, grab it. Take it. By believing on the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Yan ang po ang susi. No? Maraming kaligtasan ngayon, nagtuturo ng kaligtasan na wala sa Biblia. Tandaan nyo yan. Maraming nagtuturo ngayon ng pagmamahal ng Panginoon, binabayaran. Papunta kami ng Pusamis, kasama ko yung mother ko, may tumayo doon sa lansa, papunta, mula ko lang bugan, papunta ng Pusamis, may tumayo. Nagpipreach, sabi niya, this is the love of God! This is the love of God! Ito lang, grabe, was-was. Maya-maya, may support na nilabas. Ang hihingi ng pera. Hindi mo pwedeng bilhin ang salita ng Panginoong Diyos, lalong-lalo na yung pagmamahal ng Panginoong Diyos sa atin doon sa cross ng Calvaryo. Tumayo. Hindi ko kilala si Pastor Melendez. Tumayo. Hindi siguro naka, naka, kung sa pisay, wala kagwanta. Hindi nakatiis, sabi niya. Ang salita ng Panginoong Diyos, hindi nang papabayan. Tumabi na yung dalawa. Sabi niya, this is it. Nag-preach siya about salvation. And I don't know. Christian na kami noon, hindi ko alam. Nung nakita ko sa doon, ito yung lalaki na nag-preach doon na. Ito yung lalaki na Preach about the salvation. And then, nakilala ko, Pastor Melendez. Pastor pala ng First Baptist Church, Osami City. Now, we are sinners. Are you willing to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior today? I will not preach about this love if God did not love me. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, sabi niya, whosoever believe it on Him should not perish but have everlasting life. What is everlasting? What is everlasting life? Buhay na walang hanggan. Tinatawag nila ngayon yan eh. May mga movie na sinaula yung tinatawag na eternal life. Tinatawag ngayon sa worldly yan ang more eh, immortal immortal life. Hindi mo pwedeng palitan ng immortal yan. Kasi yung immortal ginagamit sa mga movie na ano? Vampires. Pag ginagat ka ng vampire, magiging immortal ka. You see? I don't want to use that word immortal kasi ginagamit yan eh. No? Let's stick on the word of God. Everlasting life. You know my everlasting life? Alam yung everlasting life? Do you know what is everlasting life? Buhay na walang hanggan. Life without end. Okay? Kasi, ang nakapagbibigay lang ng buhay na walang hanggan, yung, yung tao na galing din sa eternal. Jesus Christ, His life is eternal. No beginning and no end. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. I am the beginning and the heaven. Since wala pa, hindi pa ito, hindi pa create itong sanlibutan, there is the Lord Jesus Christ. Siya lang pwede makapagligay ng eternal life or everlasting life. Ilang beses ko na to 
inilustrate itong everlasting life. May isang dab. Alam yung sapon na dab. Sabi nila, pigeon. Hindi yan pigeon. Pigeon, ang dab is puti. Okay? Hindi mo pwede palitan yan ng kulayan si Lopez. Mahiling magkulay ng manok. Eh, no pink. Kinulay mo yung pink. Wala. Bigyan ka agad ni Lopez ng pera. No, si Lopez, yung isa sa Lopez sa Ililo, no? yung may-ari ng pinakamahabang limousine sa Southeast Asia. Yung bahay ng pink. Ito. <laughs> Dabi yun, no? Uh, nasaksihan ko yung paano no? Paano mang lait ng tao. Dabi, no? Doon ako na, kasi sa kanila ko sa doon, doon sa Benz, di ba? Sa Itrium, may Benz pa yun dati, di ba? Na store. Pumasok yun siya doon sa Benz. Uh, this one, this one, this one, in English. Uh, this one, pinagay sa counter. Ang ginamit, credit card. Eh, wala pang credit card doon, di ba? Wala pang credit card siya, may credit card na. Sabi niya, tawagin mo yung manager. Tawagin mo yung manager. Hindi ko na sasabihin, anong mangyari? Grabe, grabe nga dito pala mayayaman. Balik tayo sa everlasting life. Saka <laughs> mawala ako. Ipwento ko, ipwento. Ito, everlasting life. This is it. Yung kalapate, inutusan ng Panginoon. Sabi ng Panginoon, yung dab, go there. Punta ka sa salibutan, go on earth, on the world, pumuha, pumunta ka sa baybayin, tatay nyo itong istorya, pumunta ka sa baybayin, you just speak a single sun. Yung buhangin, isang buhangin niya. Now, nag-travel ngayon yung dab, from the heaven going down to earth million years million years tatay niyo million years pagpunta niya sa sanlibutan punta siya sa babay tinuka niya yung isang buhangin bumalik siya to heaven million years and then pagkarating niya doon si kay Jesus Christ inilagay niya and then bumalik back and forth back and forth million years punta kayo ng Murakay Pumunta kayo ng wahin, pumunta kayo ng patay, nandun pa rin ang mga buhangin. So hanggang ngayon, hindi pa tapos yung dab, pag-pick ng buhangin. Pag wala na kayo makita ng buhangin sa buong sanlibutan, doon pa magsisimula ang everlasting life. That's God offered to you right now. I am a sinner. I am a filthy rat. But God said, this is it. Accept Him. Believe it on Him. Believe it on Him as your Lord and personal Savior acknowledge that you are a sinner and you have everlasting life. Ganun na po. The Buddhist kind of way sa salvation nila, merit. Makabutya day. Lot of Buddhist people are going to their temple and making merit para ma-earn nila yung langit nila. No? This is it, the Bible said. If you accept me as your personal Lord and Savior, I will be with you and be with you forever because you receive me as my, your personal Lord and Savior you are my children and I am your father do you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior right now believe on him and you will not perish and have everlasting life this is it we accept the Lord Jesus Christ in our heart Heart is the deceitful of all things. Deceitful of all things. Sa John chapter 14 verse 15, tignan po natin. John chapter 14 verse 15, Kisha will plus uh, King James Version, John chapter 14 verse 15. No? Basahin ko sa inyo. John chapter 14 verse 15, Thank you, Kish. Ready? Start. If you love me, keep my commandments. Okay. Tama ba? Yeah. 15 verse... 14 verse 15. 
If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, you will keep His commandments. And in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 1 to 10, that is the commandments of God. And then in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37, that is also the commandment of God. And if you love the Lord, you will demonstrate, you will love the Lord, you will keep His commandments. And this is the commandment of God. This is the commandment of God. If anyone loves me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and he will come to him and make our dwelling place with him. Nakalimutan ko anong verse ito sa Bible. No? If anyone loves me, he will obey my word. No? Pakitignan sa inyo, nakalimutan ko. Napakaganda kasi dito sa New Heart English Bible Version. No? If you love me, you will obey my word. Ano nga ang verse yan? I think it's verse dyan. No? In my, in my translation sa New Heart English Bible Version, no? Jesus answered and said to him, this is it, if you love me, if you love us, if, you, if we love the Lord Jesus Christ, He will keep my word. He will keep, we will keep His commandments or His word. My Father, God the Father, will love Him. Not only the Lord Jesus Christ, but the God the Father will love us. He will love us also. And He will come to Him. God the Father and God the Son will come to us and take up and, and, and my Father will love Him and we will come to Him. The Father, the Son will come to us and make our dwelling place with Him. Grabe na word. If we love the Lord Jesus Christ and His word and His commandment, the God the Father and God the Son will come unto us and they will dwell among us. That's the right. They will dwell among us and He will bless us. Our life we will become abundant. If we love the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the love of the Father will reside in us, we will be abundant. We will be in blessing. Right? Kahit saan tayo pumunta. That's why sabi ni Moses, kung, kung mahal yung Panginoon, if you love the Lord, and you will keep His commandments, sabi niya nga, ilagay niyo, isulat niyo yan. Kung naka, nakaupo kayo, ituro niyo sa mga anak niyo, generation to generation. At ilagay niyo sa mga post ng bahay niyo o sa gate niyo. Tuturo ako ng high school. 16 years old, 17 years old, 18 years old. Tapad. May book na. Alam, minawala yung book. Alam ko na nandun lang sa tabi. Teacher, may minang may sir. Okay. May minang sir. Kasi pinapasulat ko eh. Piting, spot piting na nga eh. Si misis, tinuturuan ako answer. O, pinapasulat ko. O, kyan tam ka. Ani. So, sinusulat nila sa libro nila. Walang libro. Teacher, may minang sir. Ah, Kian samut, ni samut mai. Teacher mai ni samut, samut notebook. Teacher mai ni samut, ah mai ni samut kada. Paper. Surat tu boleh kain notebook, papel. Teacher mai ni samut, ah kian tini kada ya. Pada nama kas surat, ah mai sana si surat ni tu, oh cilek aku teman. Ada lah mai mas surat. Alam yo, wasting time. Pero kailangan, kailangan makita nila kahit teacher ka, ginawa mo yung sasabihin mo. I will check you, I will give you 10 points. So, hindi lagyan ko, hindi lang yung check point. Kaya ngayon, mula noon, pag sabi ko, oh, may may samot, kala, sulat, oh, sulat, maski wala, o tahimik, oh, kaysa magkwentuhan sila. Sano ba ako? Hindi ko ako nakatayo. Okay na? 
if God the Father and God the Son will reside in us, there's a blessing. Sabi niya, kahit saan kayo pumunta, sa Deuteronomy chapter 6, I will bless you. Balik na tayo. Ang ganyan yung nabibiro ako. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Verse 6 ako. And this word which I commanded thee this day, thou shalt thou shalt be in thy heart. You see? And thou shalt and thou shalt teach diligently unto your children. And thou shalt talk to them when thou sitteth in thy home. And when thou walketh by the way. And when thou liest down. And when thou risest up. Wala kayong ituturo sa anak, sa anak, sa anak ninyo kundi yung salita ng Panginoon. And then in verse 8, And thou shalt bind them for a sign among thy, thy hand, and they shall be at the front, frontless, frontless between thy eyes. So, pwede ba masulakan yung may labi doon? Yung pala, yung memory. Huwag mong kalimutan. Huwag mong kalimutan. Remember the movie, Book of Eli? Akali nila yung book ng Eli, yung dala-dala na book ni Eli, yan yung Bible. No? Nung, nung nakuha nila yung book na yun, no? Spring. Line. Spring. Spring yun. Taka sila, hindi pala import, sabi niya, nandoon sa memory ni Eli, alam niya ang nakasulat ito. Ito yung sabi ng Panginoon, kung you love me, With all your heart, ituro mo yan. Ituro mo yan. Nasa pagtuturo natin yan. Sabi niya dito sa verse 9, And thou shalt write them up upon the post of thy house and on thy gates, and it shall be when the Lord thy God shall be brought thee into the land which thou awaitest.